What if I told you that the moral compass guiding billions today has roots in the teachings of a few from the early church? Yes, we're talking about Christian ethics, a cornerstone of societal values that has evolved and has been interpreted in countless ways throughout history. Christian ethics, in essence, is about the moral teachings and principles that are inherent in Christianity. It's a fascinating study of human morality, behavior, and decision-making, all viewed through the lens of Christian faith. What's more compelling is that these ethical teachings didn't just appear overnight. They originated from the early church, from individuals who were just beginning to interpret and understand the profound teachings of Christ. These teachings, these principles, have not only shaped the church but also societies and cultures across the globe. They have stirred conversations, sparked debates, and have been the foundation of many a moral code. As we delve deeper, you will discover the evolution of these teachings and principles over centuries. Journey back to the time of the early church, where it all began. Amid the echoes of ancient hymns and the hushed whispers of prayer, we find the birthplace of Christian ethics. Rooted in the life and teachings of Jesus Christ, these principles shape the moral compass of the nascent Christian community. At the heart of these teachings was the principle of love. This wasn't just any kind of love, but a selfless, sacrificial love. It was the kind of love that Jesus demonstrated when he washed the feet of his disciples, a humble act of service that symbolized his willingness to put others before himself. Forgiveness, too, was a cornerstone of the early church's ethics. The early Christians were urged to turn the other cheek, to forgive not seven times, but seventy times seven. This was a radical departure from the prevalent eye-for-an-eye -eye philosophy of the time. It was a call to embrace mercy and let go of vengeance, to offer a hand of reconciliation even to those who have caused harm. Charity, or love in action, was another fundamental principle. The early Christians were known for their generosity and hospitality, for their willingness to share what they had with those in need. They cared for the poor, the sick, the outcast, embodying the teachings of Jesus who said, Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. These principles weren't just abstract concepts. They were lived out in the daily lives of the early Christians, shaping their interactions, guiding their decisions, influencing their worldview. They were the heartbeat of the early church, the DNA of its moral code. As we journey forward from this ancient era, we'll see how these core teachings remained a constant, even as the church adapted to changing times and cultures. From the Middle Ages to the Renaissance, from the Enlightenment to the modern era, these principles have continued to guide and shape Christian ethics. From these humble beginnings, Christian ethics started to evolve and adapt to changing times. As we move into the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, Christian ethics faced a new set of challenges. During these eras, the focus of Christian ethics shifted, grappling with a variety of societal changes. The Middle Ages, for instance, saw the rise of feudalism, which introduced complex questions about power, authority, and the moral obligations of rulers and subjects. Christian ethics had to evolve to address these new realities. Enter Thomas Aquinas, a significant figure in this period. His work laid the foundation for many of the ethical principles we associate with Christianity today. Aquinas integrated Greek philosophy, particularly that of Aristotle, into Christian thought. He argued that reason and faith are not only compatible, but complementary. Aquinas's emphasis on reason gave Christian ethics a new dimension, allowing for a more nuanced understanding of morality that went beyond simply following divine commandments. This integration of philosophy and theology also led to the emergence of natural law theory. This theory posited that moral principles are inherent in nature itself and can be discovered through reason. It suggested that there are universal moral laws that apply to all humans, regardless of their religious beliefs. This was a radical departure from earlier Christian ethics, which saw morality as directly tied to divine commands. Natural law theory allowed for a more inclusive understanding of ethics, one that could apply to all of humanity. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. The Renaissance brought a renewed interest in secularism 
and humanism, challenging the dominance of Christian ethics. Yet even in this climate of change, Christian ethics found ways to adapt and thrive. It absorbed elements of humanism, emphasizing the inherent dignity and worth of the individual, and continued to influence societal norms and values. Despite the turbulence, Christian ethics continued to shape and influence societal norms and values. It proved to be a robust and adaptable system, capable of responding to the changing tides of history. This adaptability is perhaps one of the reasons why Christian ethics still holds relevance in our world today. Fast forward to today, where Christian ethics takes on a modern perspective. Christian ethics, like any other ethical system, isn't static. It evolves, adapting and responding to the changing cultural, social and technological landscapes. It's a living, breathing entity that continues to guide believers in their moral decision-making. In the contemporary world, Christian ethics grapples with a slew of complex issues. Human rights, for instance, have become a central theme. The Christian ethical tradition, rooted in the teachings of Jesus Christ, emphasizes the inherent value and dignity of every individual. This belief is what guides the Christian stance on issues like poverty, inequality, and discrimination. The call to love thy neighbor extends to all of humanity, advocating for justice, compassion, and respect for all. Then, there's environmental ethics. Christianity posits that the earth is God's creation and humans are its stewards. This stewardship involves a moral responsibility to care for the environment. It's not just about preserving nature for its own sake, but recognizing that our actions have consequences for other living beings and future generations. The Christian response to the environmental crisis, therefore, is rooted in a respect for life and a commitment to sustainable practices. Bioethics is another area where Christian ethics is particularly pertinent. With advances in medical technology come questions about the sanctity of life, the nature of personhood, and the limits of human intervention. Cloning, genetic engineering, euthanasia, these are issues that challenge traditional Christian beliefs about the sanctity of life and the role of divine providence. In navigating these complexities, Christian ethics offers a moral framework that emphasizes respect for life, human dignity, and the intrinsic worth of every individual. In a world marked by rapid technological progress and shifting societal norms, Christian ethics doesn't shy away from the challenge. Instead, it strives to engage with these issues, to wrestle with them, and to offer a moral compass for believers navigating these turbulent waters. In a rapidly changing world, Christian ethics strives to provide moral guidance based on its foundational principles. From the early church to the present day, Christian ethics has journeyed through centuries shaping moral norms and values. We've delved into the ethical teachings of the early church, tracing its roots back to the teachings of Jesus Christ himself and the apostles who spread his word. We've then navigated through the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, periods of profound change and development. Amidst the turbulence of these times, Christian ethics evolved, absorbing new ideas and adapting to changing societal norms. In the modern era, we've observed how Christian ethics continues to adapt and remain relevant. In an increasingly complex world, these moral teachings offer guidance and clarity, underpinning the actions of many in their daily lives. Christian ethics, with its rich history and evolving principles, continues to provide a moral compass to billions around the world. A testament to its enduring relevance and the profound impact it has had and continues to have on human morality and behavior.